our biggest challenge and simultaneously our biggest opportunity is that what we do is we sell access to a cumbersome US healthcare system. Because if what we sell sucks, then at best we can suck less. And that's not a great starting point, that's not a great situation. But as the insurer, this is the opportunity part of it, we have unique superpowers in rewiring the system. We can change the underlying healthcare system. We can make it less cumbersome. And that's really what we're here to do. So one of our main design tenets is we have to be end-to-end -end useful, not just usable, and not anything less than end-to-end. -end. You are, as a member, going to judge us against your full experience of using healthcare. Only then can we truly be your entry points to healthcare. Otherwise, it's like an iPhone without the apps, and the apps in our case are all these highly motivated, super smart, super engaged doctors, hospitals and so on who want to get you healthy and whom we can help to get you healthier. And we do this by selectively using our technology and our member engagement to make doctors happy. Oddly enough, healthcare is a system where nobody's really happy. And we have sort of like had a mutual armament to the point where everyone is hawkishly watching what the other party does without constructively working together to get people a better outcome. Doctors spend about 30% of their dollars to collect their dollars. And we as the insurer are frankly a major driver for that. We put in place gates like pre-authorizations. And we have deductibles that make it a little harder for the doctor to bill you. So let's get rid of some of these things. For doctors and hospitals, we work very closely with. Last year, we got rid of a whole bunch of our pre-authorization requirements around certain procedures which we noticed there were a tiny fraction of doctors who were not sort of like using the procedures very well that are underlying this, but the vast majority did well. So rather than denying care or authorizing care for everybody out there, those doctors then, those doctors whom we can just reduce all this friction for, make our members happy in return. We can get to same day appointments. We can encourage them to join our televisit practice. We can do better care management. And in return, we can get more members to go into their practice and see them. And again, healthcare is such a unique system in that you can simultaneously build a better product and lower costs when you do this. You can get better member engagement and a lower price as a result. And because consumers more and more demand what they sure demanded all along, which is better healthcare for lower prices. We take risk. We don't just sell tools. We insure ourselves. I love the fact that I now can call a doctor at 2 a.m. in the morning for my two little kids when I forgot exactly what the dose of Tylenol is you should give when one of them has a fever, for example, or when I'm worried about this weird cough that they have or a weird rash that they have. I could take a picture, send it to a doctor, he calls me in 10 minutes, it's totally free, 24 seven, all year round. He can prescribe, he can diagnose and so on. Oscar became the first insurance company in the entire exchange marketplace selling to individuals to ever do this. And now more insurance companies are doing, and that's great because we want to have an impact on how, again, the system is wired. But this innovation, this sort of like rewiring the system only works if we actually are better off as a company, if we can get you as a member happier, healthier, more quickly. And because we think we do it well, and because we think we've innovated by doing it, we want to increasingly teach the system how to take risk. The system is one that's built on fee-for-service. That's this payments for every single line item on the bill. It misses the incentives, the financial incentives for doctors to get you healthier more quickly. It's missing information that's disseminated more easily bet between your doctors, for example. Your doc doesn't see when you go to the emergency room in between two visits you have to your doctor, to your primary care physician, for example. He would love to see it. He would love to see it that he, you're taking your drugs he prescribed for you. He can't see it right now. We can as a technology-driven insurance company be the catalyst to bringing providers into the world of taking more risk on you. What that basically means is that providers who already kind of like became doctors because they want to get you healthy now also have another financial nudge to get you healthy, which is just smart for everyone in the system. US healthcare is moving into that direction. 